Dr. Jo from Blue Tree Education. Today, we're going to talk about another topic, uh, which is very uh, heavily tested in PSLA usually, which is interactions of forces. And today, we are talk going to talk about elastic spring force. So let's take a look at this Nanyang prelim papers, question 36. Springs are used in a pack as shown below. The arrows show the way the pack is squeezed at the handles to open its grip. Now, after Mr. Uh, Mrs. Tan squeezes the pack and releases it, the pack can hold her towel up on the line as shown in the diagram below. Now, before we go into answering this question, let's always do our ha-ha approach, which is highlight and annotate. So let's highlight the key information, right? So I can, uh, which is here, squeezes the pack and releases it. Now, I can see from the diagram clearly that there is actually um, a compressed spring. And when the handles are squeezed, right, the spring is actually compressed, which is actually in the middle as shown in the diagram. Now, let's recap also that elastic spring force is actually exerted on compressed spring, right? Now, when the spring actually uh, returns to its original length, all right, um, the elastic spring force will be exerted on the spring. So uh, remember this concept, all right, children? When the spring is being compressed, all right, there is elastic spring force. But when the spring is being released, all right, the elastic spring force, right, will be also exerted on the spring because it wants to return to its original length. So now we're ready to go to the question. Now explain in terms of forces, how the spring keeps the pack closed. Now remember, recall just now the previous um picture, right? When we press the handle, right, the spring is compressed, right? So, and when the spring is compressed, right, what happens is uh, it will close the pack below. Okay, so actually the pack is in this um inverted uh, V, all right, uh, action, all right? So at first it was like this, all right, when you press and when it's released, all right, it goes back to the V shape. And because it goes back to the V shape, right, the bottom part is the one that closes and holds the tower in place, right? Okay, so here we are ready for the answer. So the answer is actually very straightforward, right? Which is when the pack is released, the spring returns to its original length. So the compressed spring will exert this elastic spring force on the handles to close the pack. Now, although the uh, concept is not difficult, but this question does require uh, certain keywords, right? So the keyword here in this question that you must write is return to its original length, all right? Compressed spring. And of course, exert, all right, which is the keyword in uh, forces topic and uh, elastic spring force, all right? And you must remember, children, uh, that you must refer to the handles, right? Because it is the handle that uh, when it's released, right? That's why the pack could go back uh, to the original V-shape to close. So a lot of children actually forgot to write down on the handles. Now, forces is all around us, right? Uh, anything that we do, right? Uh, there is a force uh, that's always push or a pull. So it is very important in your question, right? That you understand, you show understanding, okay? Where the force was exerted. You need to communicate clearly to the marker that you understand that the force, right? Was actually exerted on the handle and therefore the pack was able to close, right? So these are, uh, the ones that are underlined are actually keywords for elastic spring force, right? And remember again, teacher Joe, okay, wants to, I know it sounds like I'm nagging, but this is a repeated reminder to remember to refer to the object, the correct object. Now let's go on to the part two. How the pack prevents the tower from slipping down? Right, prevents and slipping down are the uh, key question term that we should highlight in this question. And of course, we all know that there's fictional force between the pack and tower against the gravitational force on the tower. Now, remember for forces topic, right, children, we're always talking about the two opposing forces. So it is important for you to identify the two opposing forces. And in this case, again, remember, we need to use the keywords related to the topic of forces. And acting against, right, children, is an excellent key phrase to use, all right? Okay, now the next part of the question Mrs. Tan wanted to investigate the effect of a force on two uh, 12 cm springs, M and N. Again, we are on elastic spring force. And she actually placed a 100 gram load on each of them. And you can see from the diagram that they're actually being compressed. Based on the result of Mrs. Tan's investigation, explain in terms of forces which springs should be used so that they can hold the tower more tightly. Now, 
this is an experiment based question. Do not use your knowledge to answer this, but use the results, all right? And in this case, because we need to make a choice, it's an explain with a choice question, we can use our, that's right, ABC technique, all right? So when we look at the diagram, we can see that uh, this is like the same concept tested for in uh, part A as well, right? Which is about compressed spring. But in this case, right, okay, take note that for the same mass of load, right, you can see that spring end is actually more compressed. So it is uh, less stiff, all right? Okay. Or we can say that it is actually more elastic, right? So here, okay, we need to compare children, all right? You can see that I've highlighted more tightly. So when you see the word more, you should know that this is a compare question. So if this is a compare question, you definitely need to use the comparative terms. So let's answer with a choice. Yes, it's spring M. But why? Where is the evidence? The evidence, remember, must definitely come from the results. So based on the result, I can see that for the same mass of load, spring M actually decreased less in length, which is evident in the question, right? So what is the concept? So the concept is, all right, we know that spring M is actually stiffer. So because it's stiffer, it will exert more elastic spring force so the pack can hold the tower more tightly. Right. I hope that you have understood the concept on uh, elastic spring force better with this question. Now, this question is actually an excellent question to revise Okay, for PSLE because um, this question has been tested several times in PSLE. So be sure, all right, to rewatch this video, all right, and do share this video with your friends, okay, so that they can also benefit uh, from learning with us. So I will see you in the next question. Bye-bye.